Well, this is kind of a fun project. I don't know what you call these things. We call them whirly gigs. And my wife likes to put them around the campsite because, you know, it makes it look kind of cool, I guess. But one of the issues is that the soil conditions can be different from one campsite to another. You can have some really soft sand, which is easy to put these in. Or if you have some real hard soil, these things go in pretty difficult. And in fact, one time last year, I had to pound them in with a uh, hammer. And I had to dig them out with a little shovel. So I'm going to use some steel tubing and I'm going to make some tent stakes that are hollow that these little poles that hold these whirly gigs up will fit inside. And then I can pound the uh, tent stake itself into the ground so that I can get it into virtually any kind of ground. And then with a little tent stake type hook, I can just put a rope around it and yank them out. So again, this is just a small, minor, little fun project to do, but you know, it makes your life easier. So I guess it's worthwhile doing. And here is a conceptual drawing on how I'm going to make these stakes. I'm just going to use my welder and weld up a couple of pieces of metal and then uh, we'll be done with it. That's going to be a quick and short project. Well, the first step was just to uh, take these uh, 3 inch uh, inside diameter steel rod and cut them into one foot sections. This is going to be the tent stake itself. And then with some 3 8 inch steel, I put it in a vise and bend it and then I'll cut it off and these are going to be the hooks uh, for the rope that would go on a tent stake. So I had enough material, I just made six of them. And if you look at one of them, this isn't the best welding job, of course, but I'm learning. This is where the rope would go around the guy wire, and then there's a hole in the end here for the um, whirly gig. I cut a saw in here with a jigsaw and then just pounded the end down and welded it and then ground it down to a kind of a tip. These are one foot. I uh, still got a few little burrs on here that I want to get off so it doesn't snag a guy line or anything. But uh, I think this is going to work out fine. And here's the end result. This is a simple and fun project. One of the advantages that I didn't realize until I finished the project was the tube allows the Whirligig to turn on its axis and turn into the wind. Whereas before, when you just pushed it into the ground, it couldn't turn. So actually this ends up being a little bit nicer. So it's a fun project. Now if you don't have a welder, you could still make these, except that you just wouldn't be able to put the hook on it and you wouldn't be able to weld the end of the tip. However, I would recommend cutting the end off at an angle so that it would make it easier to pound into the ground.